Just a quick addendum to the previous video. What I thought I'd do is just compare uh, what the output of this KX3 looks like compared to my uh, my homebrew thing. I mean, obviously the KX3 is going to be going to be far far better. But anyway, um, let's just go through the test setup here. So here's my uh, signal generator here, and I'm injecting uh, that signal into the KX3 here. It's a 50 millivolt peak to peak signal, uh, and the important thing is the mic signal. Uh, to the KX3 comes through on the tip. So I've actually got to uh, turn this channel on, not this channel on. So anyway, let's uh, plug that back in. We'll go over to the Spectrum Analyzer and check out the results. Okay, so we're over at the Spectrum Analyzer. Let me just hit the transmit on the KX3. Bear with me. So there is the output there. So as you can see, compared to the, uh, to the home brew, uh, there's a lot less harmonics there. So if you have a look, let's turn it on again. So here's those two either side that we saw in the uh, in the uh, the homebrew version. You can see they're at least 20 to 30 dBs down from uh, from mine. So let's have a look now on the oscilloscope and see what the trace looks like. Okay, we're over here on the oscilloscope. I'll hit transmit again. And there you can see that signal. Let me just turn off transmit. And uh, one of the couple of the interesting things to note are, um, even though the uh, the spectrum analyzer has the the primary signals, the 700 and 1900 hertz uh, signals, even though they are lower in the in the KX3, the actual peak to peak voltage is higher. Um, now I'm not quite sure why that is. If uh, anyone has uh, any any thoughts on that, I'd love to hear about that. Uh, my suspicion is it's something to do with the uh, the harmon the, the being a lot more harmonics in the uh, in the homebrew version. Uh, but anyway, uh, if anyone has any ideas, I'd I'd love to hear about it. So what I'll what I'll do now is I'll just quickly go back to the. Uh, the homebrew version and we'll see the results uh, of that on the spectrum analyzer once again for purposes of comparison. Okay so here's the uh, homebrew uh, and as you can see in comparison to the KX3 a lot more of these harmonics and the difference between these two and sort of these first uh, first set of harmonics here is much greater in the KX3, in other words, a much purer signal. So what I'll do is let's uh, I'll uh, grab these. We'll uh, graph them onto uh, using Python, and we'll be able to compare them side by side. Okay, so here we have the uh, the two uh, the two outputs. Uh, the left is the KX3, and the right is the the homebrew. And straight away, you can see that the KX3 has much, much, much less harmonic content in it. Um, you can see here we've got these two peaks here. Uh, they're uh, way down, uh, at least 20 dBs down, if not more, from the uh, from the homebrew. So a lot less harmonic content in the KX3 compared to the homebrew, which is, I guess, what you'd expect. Um, the other interesting thing is, even though the magnitude of the KX3 is less at minus 28.3 dBm versus uh, around about minus 22 dBm for the homebrew, the the actual peak-to-peak -peak, um, signal uh, on the oscilloscope for the KX3 is is a little bit higher. So this is around about uh, 44 to 48 volts peak-to-peak. -peak. This was around about 42 volts peak-to-peak. -peak. So if someone has any idea um, what that's all about, uh, I would have expected the sort of these this magnitude would have. Uh, kind of the magnitude up here would have would have been reflected in the in the kind of the value of the peak to peak uh, potentially it's all this other harmonic content uh, but if anyone has an answer I'd love to know it anyway uh, that's a wrap for this little short one for now and uh, catch you all later